Hello, my name is Adnan Kurban. Today I am going to show you how you can create a Windows Form application in Visual C Sharp. And uh, we will navigate from one form to another form. So let's start. Uh, click on File, Create New Project. Since we are talking about C Sharp Windows Form application, so click on Visual C Sharp and you will see Windows. Click on it and uh, here is uh, here you will find Windows Form application. Name that application as uh, navigating navigating Windows form. This will be the name of your solution. We will name it as tutorials tutorials. We okay, click on OK button and uh, you will your project will be created. Here you can see we have form one. <coughs> Since we are uh, we're talking about multiple forms, so we will create at least two forms to navigate from one to another form. So in order to do that, go to your Solution Explorer. You can find it uh, here. Click on View, and you will see that is our Solution Explorer. Click on it, and uh, here you will see our solution name. Here our, will be our project name, and this is form one that we have created till now. Okay. Uh, since we are talking about creating another form so right click on your project and you will see an add click on it and you will see you will see th uh, there is multiple ways of creating a form if you are just simple creating a new form windows form you just created by clicking window form you can if you click on it and uh, you will be promoted to a windows that will be asking you for the name of your form and you will just simply create it if you want to add a new item the item may be form or anything else so just click on it and you will see all the visual C sharp items these are all the items uh, that will be in the category of C sharp items and uh, just select windows form and you will be sp uh, specifically taken to a window that contains windows form items click on window form and uh, this will be the name of your second form click on add button and it will add another form for you So you will see we have two forms. Okay, we will put buttons on each of these forms that will be navigating us from one form to another when we click on it. So uh, I have uh, put the toolbox here. You can find it in view window, and you will see here is our toolbox. If you couldn't find it anywhere else, you can just simply press Control Alt X at the same time and you will see you will be promoted to control uh, alt x and you will promote it to toolbox select uh, the button and uh, just double click on it it will be added or you can also add it by simply drag and dropping that button since we need just one button we will delete it we will take it here ok uh, we have created a, a form that is named as form 1 another form that is named as form 2 we have a dragged and dropped a button on it similarly we use the same process or same procedure to do the same as uh, dragging and dropping the button so go to form 1 right click on the button and click on properties and you will be seeing the properties that are associated with this control button control you will see text actually this text is written over here we will change it go to form 1 2 actually this is taking us to form 2 similarly change the name uh, by right clicking on it and we go to properties and text type go to form 1 you see you'll see that uh, when we click on it it will take us to form 1 and uh, in the form 1 uh, if we click on the button it will take us to form 2 and uh, in order to make it work save it ok if we double click on it it will create an on click event by default but I uh, will show you the actual way of doing that go to properties of that control click on this arrow called events and uh, since we are talking about on click event so if we double click on it it will create an on click event for us uh, that is associated with button 1 click 
that is this button it means that if we click on this button it will execute the code that is written right at this place so we will type the code right here since we are talking about navigating from one form to another so if we are in form 1 and we want to go to form 2 we will first have to hide that form so we will use this dot hide this is uh, actually containing the context to that form this contains context uh, actually reference of that form 1 and if we are hiding this uh, in order to hide this we will use this dot hide and uh, we will just uh, create an object of form 2 that we are that we want to open on clicking it form 2 f2 will be its object is equal to new form 2 this is how we create an object for form 2 and uh, if we want it to show we have to write this command f2 dot show it will show us the form okay since uh, uh, this will hiding this will be hiding form 1 and this will be showing us form 2 we'll use the same way to navigate from form 2 to form 1 double click on it and uh, similarly to hide this form by using this dot hide and uh, create an object of form 1 f1 equals to new form 1 and uh, type form 1 dot show that will make it visible to you okay, save it so, uh, let's see what we have done okay we have form 1 a button on it form 2 a button on it when we click on this go to form 1 it will take us to form 1 and when we will click on go to form 2 button or form 1 it will take us to form 2 let's start uh, it and uh, we'll see what happens you can see that this is form 1 and uh, <coughs> if you click on this go to form 2 button it will take you to form 2 similarly if you wanted to go back to form 1 click on go to form 1 and it will, it will take you form 1 so this is how we can navigate from one form to another form if you have form 3 you can simply add another button here and uh, uh, on its own click function hide this form and create an object of form 3 and then show that object and when you click on it it will take you to that form like we are doing here i hope you have understand what i have tried to tell you thank you for watching office